Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking all about TROAS, right? Really what it is, how to calculate it, and then how to set your account up for success. And if you stay all the way till the end, we're going to show you a few mistakes to avoid to ensure that the ROAS is really driving real-time revenue for your business. Um, so we can just jump right in. So, you know, a quick definition of target ROAS, and I'll link to this WordStream account, this WordStream blog in um, the video. It's really just return a target return on your ad spend, and it really falls under Google's category for smart bidding. Ultimately, in the uh, real-time auction. TROAS allows Google to optimize around conversion value opposed to just conversion, right? So think about TCPA, um, the automated, fully automated bidding strategy that targets a set cost per lead or per acquisition. ROAS is a little bit different in that it really tries to target leads based on the value they could bring your business, right? Um, so we can just run a really quick calculation on, on what TROAS is, really. So TROAS is going to be the revenue that your campaigns drive, right? So say your revenue is 20K every month from um, your advertising channels, right? Um, and you spend 10K every month on your advertising channels. Um, your TROAS is going to basically be 200%, right? Um, but... Finding, you know, doing this calculation is simple, but how do we actually find the values for a lead or for an application? Um, and we can jump right into that as well, right? So ultimately, if you're a mortgage or a real estate broker, right, and you have an advertising campaign, and every month you know that you have at least one closing um, and that drives $10,000, right? So one closing equals 10K. However, you know, you every month you also have about 20 appointments, right, or even 20 applications, right? So we know that um, for every 20 applications, you get one closing and you get $10,000 of revenue, right? So if you divide 20 by 10,000, you're going to get five hundred dollars so you know that every application is or appointment right depending on how you calculate it is generally going to be worth five hundred dollars right um, and then if you know that every month you get 50 leads again you divide 50 by ten thousand I mean you're gonna get two hundred dollars right so you know that every lead is worth $200 for your business and every application or appointment is worth $500 and every closing is worth $10,000, right? It's really important that, you know, when you build out a TROS strategy, you're using as much conversion data as possible, right? It helps the algorithm. Um, it, you're really fueling the algorithm with more data so it's smarter and faster, right? Um, and so ultimately, if you, if this data is similar to you, right, the way we're going to calculate our TROAS, again, um, $10,000, how much money do you spend spend a month, right? Is it $5,000? Is it $8,000, right? So if you have a $5,000 um ad spend, your TROS is going to be right 200%, right? And that's kind of what you want to target as a benchmark. So when you build this out, think about that as, you know, if you're happy, let's keep it at 200. Do you want to push it a little bit more, right? And there's different ways to toggle that. Um, now we're going to jump directly into Google Ads and show you how we configure our lead, our application or appointment, and then our closing as specific values. So when you go into Google Ads, um, you're going to hit Tools and Settings, and you're going to hit Conversions, um, and then that'll open up the uh, Conversion Action section, right? And so you're going to go to your contact form, your lead submit, however you, you're tracking leads. Um, and then within here, you just hit Edit Settings. And you're going to see a value option right here. So you're going to hit use the same value for each conversion. And then whatever that number is for your business for this specific account, it's $50, right? Um, and then you hit just hit save. And then you hit done. Okay, so when it comes with the further downstream conversions like appointment and application um, and closing, right? There's, there's a really specific process, right? Because they, they happen offline outside of Google Ads. I'm going to link to our offline conversion setup guide and what that's going to do is show you how to create an automated pipeline from your application and your closing data and feed that 
directly into Google so that every day this feed is being updated, right? So the way Google uses, it's called the GCLID to track the leads that are coming through that do end up booking appointments or do end up um, closing, right? But for the sake of this video, it's really just about how we configure TROS properly. Um, but down here we have qualified lead um, and we're, that second point is uh, just for us, it's scheduled an appointment for this account, but it could be application, it could be a lot of things, right? Um, and you're gonna hit edit settings and it's gonna be exactly the same, right? This value is gonna be higher than your other value depending on um, your your business data, right? And again, business data is really vital and a strong CRM is vital to really being able to track TROS properly. If you don't have that, then just stick with TCPA, right? Um, and then basically your closing is gonna be exactly the same, right? Because closing is, or sales are again offline conversions, um, you're gonna feed it in the same way. The only difference is that you're gonna have a different naming convention and you're going to have a much, much higher value, right? Um, okay, so now that your conversions are set up properly and there are values, uh, accurate values attributed, um, you're gonna go back into your ads account and we're going to actually set up TROS inside Google Ads. So the first piece of this, again, it's it's kind of understanding, you know, historically what your ROAS is. So you're going to select this right here and then come down to actual ROAS. And then Google's going to say, hey, based on the information you've given us, your actual ROAS is 331%, right? So we know that this is, this is profitable and driving um, an ROI for our business, right? And, and the 331 is going to act, again, as a benchmark when we set this in the settings. So let's go to settings. Right now, this campaign is um, bidding on TCPA, and we're going to change that because we really want to drive more appointments, more closings. So once this campaign is opened up, you're going to hit maximum or hit bidding, and it's going to say maximum conversions. And we're going to change this to conversion value. It's not going to say TROS, but that's exactly what it is, right? Um, we're going to hit conversion value and do not forget to hit set a target return on ad spend. Um, if you don't select this, it's going to not really give Google good guardrails on what to drive for your business. Um, so hit set a target and uh, like you, like we saw earlier, we were at 330 as our current TROS, Google suggesting 450. That's exactly what we want, right? We want a more qualified lead and we want a higher return on our ad spend. So we're gonna hit save. Um, and then it's going to now start to bid towards revenue opposed to just a normal TCPA, right? Um, ultimately, it's going to take some time for the algorithm to kind of adjust, but if you're feeding in daily offline conversion values um, for appointments and closings, it's going to hit a point of statistical significance much faster. Um, but yeah, so that's that's a really quick overview really on what TROS is, how to calculate it for your business, and then how to set it up accurately in Google Ads. Uh, don't forget if you want to learn more about offline conversions, we're going to be linking to that video so you can set up an automated pipeline for your business. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. Please don't forget to comment your questions, like, and subscribe.